Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. So you might know or might not know that Unity has actually had public roadmaps for quite a while. And recently they updated the roadmap page. This one contains a ton of information. Seriously, it's just a never ending scroll. It just keeps going and going, talking about all kinds of different topics. There's lots of things here that I didn't even know they were doing and lots of things that I didn't even know they were thinking of doing. And I also love how they actually leave the things over here that have already been released. For example, ECS and Dots. This was in development for like five years. Now here we can clearly see that thankfully they've already released quite a lot of stuff. On engineering you can also see the assembly definitions, burst, C sharp 9, upgrading .NET runtime and a bunch more. So yep, it's awesome how they leave the things here that have already been released. This makes it very clear that the engine is clearly still getting a ton of updates, a ton of new features. But perhaps the most important thing of all over here on this roadmap is how you can actually make your voice heard and decide what features Unity will have in the future. Basically on each section you've got a button to submit an idea. So for example let's say you want to make a voxel game and Unity by default does not have any kind of voxel terrain simulator. So let's say you think that would be very important to you. So for that, in that case, you can go down to 3D World Building, submit an idea, let's say a voxel terrain editor, then make it easier to build voxel games. And yep, let's say this would be nice to have. Yep, just put the email, submit, and yep, that's the idea submitted. So you can basically write your own entries and send them to Unity. Now, naturally, I'm going to guess they are manually validating all these entries. So it won't automatically show up over here as soon as you submit it. But if enough people submit roughly the same idea, I'm guessing that's when they finally add it over here to potentially work on it in the future. You might also notice that there are basically three different states. So you've got released. So that means that this tool, this feature is already existing on the current version. For example, this one over here, Pro Builder 6 came out in Unity 6. Splines came out in 22 LTS. These terrain tools on 23.1. Then the other badge is the plan badge. So this means things that are they are currently working on. There's no timeline, but it means that it's something they are actively working on and will hopefully be coming out sometime in the future. And then you've got under consideration. This very much just might be added, might not be added, nobody knows. Basically, would be nice. It would be interesting for the engine to have this feature, but no estimate on when or even if it might ever come to the engine. And then of course on each feature that is already over here on the roadmap, on each of these you can actually vote for it. So for example, in my case, I love DOTS, I love ECS. I think it's a very powerful tool. I think it's one of the best things that Unity currently has. And I can't wait until ECS for all actually comes out. This is basically the merging of game objects and entities together. So after they get this done, it should be much, much easier to basically mix and match both game object code and super fast DOTS code. So I think that is going to be a pretty insane transformational change. It is going to enable so many games to be insanely performant without necessarily having to make it full DOTS or full game objects. By making sure that each game object has an underlying entity, that means that they are slightly connected. So you can then make things that are insanely fast and kind of mix and match between both game object and ECS. So I think this is a really awesome thing. And on each feature that you think is good, if you scroll down, yep, you can see how important is this feature to you. So in my case, I think this will be really awesome. I can't wait until this happens. So I'm going to go ahead and vote, make this essential. So over here, connecting all entities and all game objects will be a pretty insane transformational change that will enable so many awesome new games to be created. Then my email and submit my vote. So yep, just like that. I would assume that these public votes, they use this as a way of like gauging interest on some kind of specific feature. So out of all of the tons of things I had here, if a bunch of them have a bunch more votes than the others, naturally that would mean they would put more effort into actually building those tools. So if they are under consideration, they get a ton of votes, maybe that brings it up to planned. And if it is unplanned and it gets a ton of votes, maybe that puts it up to have more people working on it so it can get to release much faster. So yep, as you can see, you yourself can actually have quite a lot of impact over here on the roadmap, basically on the feature of Unity. And as you can see, there's already an insane amount of stuff here. This page is insanely long. For example, on the 2D section, you can see how Unity in the past few years actually improved quite a lot in terms of specifically the 2D renderer. 2D renderer as well as 2D IK, things for handling characters. They improved quite a lot on those things. And then planned is 2D animation improvements. So yep, that would be great. That would make it so that you can have lots of games with lots of bone characters, 2D bone characters active at the same time without suffering a ton of performance. For 3D characters and animation, for example, over here under consideration, they've got motion matching, kinematica. This is something that they showcased quite a long time ago and look really awesome, but sadly they apparently couldn't quite make it work. It would be interesting. Motion matching is an interesting way of handling animations. So perhaps they might bring it back, who knows. On the dot side, ECS based animation. This is definitely one of the most requested things of all time. It will hopefully be coming out relatively soon. I think they mentioned that it's actually meant to come out at the end of this year. So perhaps on Unity 6.3, that would be fun. Then under multiplayer, they've already released a ton of stuff. They've definitely been focusing on multiplayer quite a lot these past few years. 
One feature that a lot of people have requested is right here, host migration. A lot of people have asked about this because if you are making a game using netcode for game objects and the host goes down, basically the whole game ends. You can do host migration, but you kind of have to implement yourself. It's not necessarily too difficult, but still having it directly built into the engine, that would be obviously better. Another really important one is that over here, which is thankfully marked as planned and not just under consideration, which is basically unifying both of the netcodes right now. I actually have two complete free courses on making multiplayer games with these two networking stacks, netcode for game objects and netcode for entities. So in the future, apparently there will only be one. That would definitely be interesting. That would definitely simplify complexity quite a bit. Then on performance, something that is always requested by so many people, optimize the Unity editor startup time. This and compilation time is something that quite a lot of people talk about. Under UI systems, yep, UI toolkit also got a ton of improvements for the past few years. All of these things have already been released, but it still has quite a few things missing. So we can see here, advanced UI animation, display UI in world space. So all of these are currently planned. Then on the rendering and visual effects over here, also quite a lot of stuff already released. And we've got a bunch more interesting ones over here, either planned or under consideration. For example, mesh LOD. This one can automatically generate LODs at import time. I don't work too much with 3D, but as far as I know, this would be a pretty nice thing to have. Basically saves you time so you don't have to make the LODs yourself or allows you to use assets that were not made with LODs in mind and you can just automatically generate them. So if it has all these things, but actually over here up top, this one is not just the Unity roadmap, but actually covers pretty much everything. So there's also a roadmap just for the Unity hub kind of stuff. There's a roadmap for the Unity gaming services. For example, here under multiplayer, they've got a new Unreal SDK. It's kind of funny to think of Unity working on an Unreal SDK, but again, that's because all of these Unity gaming services, all of these are engine agnostic. So you can definitely use all these tools with Unreal, with Unity, with Godot, whatever it is. But still, pretty funny to see. Then a section on AI tools. Obviously, they're also working on this quite a bit. They're apparently working on the Muse Behavior API, which is actually an interesting one because as far as I know, the Behavior Tool team, that one got laid off a few months ago. So I wonder if this card in the roadmap has not been updated or if it's unplanned. Apparently, they're also working on visual scripting nodes. So using AI to generate the visual script. That could be an interesting thing. It could be a nice in-between step. So you ask the AI to generate the visual script, then you use that visual script to learn it, to then help you learn the C-sharp version. So that could be a nice learning multi strap process. And they're also working on video to motion. This I think is going to be a very interesting tool. Basically record the video of you doing some kind of thing, and then you can apply it to a humanoid character. So no need for super expensive mocap suits. I do think this will be an extremely important tool, especially for indie devs with basically zero budget. Then they're also working on Unity DevOps, whatever this is, as well as HMI and embedded systems. So apparently this includes Android Automotive and a bunch more things that I have no idea what exactly that means. So yep, as you can see over here, tons and tons of space. This is a giant insane page with lots of stuff they are currently working on. I mean, this page over here literally has 147,000 pixels of height. That's an insane amount. So on a normal 1080p monitor, that would be basically 147 pages. Now, usually for me, when I work on my games, usually I've got a to-do list on my side. And usually at the most, it's about two pages long. So yeah, <laughs> having a to-do list that is 147 pages long, that is an insane amount of stuff. So yep, go ahead and check out the Unity Roadmap yourself. Maybe submit some ideas, maybe vote on which ones you think are really important to you. Definitely go ahead and make your voice heard to improve the future of the engine. If you haven't yet gone through my free Catching Chaos course, then go ahead and do that right now. It's a great beginner slash intermediate course. Alternatively, if you want to make multiplayer games, check out my free course on making a really nice tic-tac-toe game. Or if you want to focus on language itself, go through my C-sharp course. There's a free version over here on YouTube with all of the video lectures, all completely for free. Or if you can afford it, you can grab the premium version, which has some really awesome bonuses. In fact, right now I'm actually working on another update for that C-Sharp course. I'm going to be adding some really nice beginner level projects. These are simple projects that you should be able to build yourself if you understand everything in the beginner section of the course. My goal of that course is very much to help you learn by doing. So these beginner projects should be quite a lot of fun. Stay tuned for one or two of those on the free version and the rest on the premium version. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.